Boom, boom, boom. YouTube. Rap dog. Three. Wait. One. Three. Back with another video for y'all. What's up, y'all? What's up? Shit. Happy weekend, man. Happy weekend. So, once again. Once again. We hungry. We hungry. So what we about to do? We about to get ready to put together another delicious meal for y'all. That's right. Right. You want some, Z? Yeah. Gotta sure. feed the cameraman. His hand gonna get weak from holding the tripod. Here we go, y'all. We got our ingredients right here. Ingredients for what? Ingredients? What the hell is we putting together? And this was a request. Mm, mm, mm. This was a request. Bray, Bray, you always in the way, Bray. So we're going to do you another thing. This is how I'm going to do it, though. You say your best meal is what? Your best dinner is what? Meatloaf, corn, and mashed potatoes. What? Meatloaf, corn, and mashed potatoes. <laughs> okay. Okay, well, we're going to put that together for you. You see, we're going to put it right here and put it up in there and smack that around and twirl it around. And we're going to get your meal together. Well. But it ain't going to be the way you expect it to be, the way your parents or your people prepare for you. I'm going to do it right, dog, my girl, way. That's right. Yeah, baby. Mm -hmm. That's right. Let them know our ingredients, Marl. You well. good with that. Well, he wanted a meatloaf. Well, this is how we going to uh, step the meatloaf up for a little bit. A twist A to twist. It. Like a twist. Like he twisting everything around. This is how we going to do it. We got ground round. We got um, pork, Italian sausages, mashed potatoes. We got corn. These, this celery, bell pepper, onions, Garlic and eggs, breadcrumb and our seasoning. You can season it with whatever you want, whatever you like. Season it with. Um, we got um Larry seasoning salt. We got garlic powder, onion powder, and we got steak seasoning. Reason why I like steak seasoning so much is because everything is in here. Everything you want is in here. It, it 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 does the job by itself. But we just gonna add this extra to it. It got salt, pepper. It got uh, it got a lot of seasoning in here. Okay, here we go, y'all. You got your choice of corn. We got fresh corn from the freezer, which you see we using. That's right. Super corn. What's so super about the goddamn corn? Superman brought it over here. Super corn. Super? <laughs> now, I mean, the words actually mean something. So we got super corn. We gonna eat it and it gonna do something to us, man. I hope it give me the power or something. But uh, you can use the can, whatever you got for corn. Some people might even get the... Uh, the corn, the the the, the 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 one you shook it, the and then you the just scrape the corn on the cob. You just scrape it on off, and you can use that. That's the natural way, right there, baby. That's the real country way of making it. If you about your taste or or different, you know, just a different preference. But as you see, we already got the potatoes chopped up already to save camera time. You don't need to see all of that. We got stuff to do. Okay, now we got red potatoes. And this is a question I got for y'all. White potatoes, red potatoes. Once you take the skin off. They all what? Are they all uh, just a potato or it ain't no red potato no more if I skipped it? If I skin and peel and peel off a white potato, ain't it still going to be the same? Yeah, but some, right. some potatoes are smoother than the other potatoes. Oh, cool. Yeah, they smoother than the, like, um, 
Oh, it's a difference it's, in the it's, taste. Yes, yeah, a difference. Even yeah. without the skin. Without the skin. What y'all think about that, though? Y'all, y'all let me know. But here we go. We got the brown round. Brown she round. gonna put what? Uh, some pork sausages. Uh, we gonna put that with it to combine it for the flavor and the taste. This just what we do. Now I asked her this question too upon you know us putting this formula together. Do you use ketchup or do you use uh, what kind of tomato paste? How do you use it? Because I know it's got to be something with tomatoes or something in this one. So where is that at? Uh, how are you gonna do that? We got a can of tomato paste. I use tomato. Why it out here then? It's feeling pretty left out, man, and we need that key ingredient, man. The ghost can So we about to get ready to put this together for y'all, like we always do everything. And thank y'all so much for the comments. Thank you for the love out there. I'm steadily coming up. We trying to get a thousand subscribers, baby. We trying to steady come up. One step at a time. Very patient. I've been in this game now for what, nine months? Going on 10 months? So this will be our 78th video. I never thought when I first started that we was gonna be able to accomplish this. You know, I, I had an idea of just doing things, but here we go, baby, we doing it. We trying to get to them 100 videos though. Yeah. Back. Yes. Yeah. So I put the potatoes in the bag. And I, and I seen on YouTube somewhere that you microwave it for 15 minutes. So we're going to try that today. And see how it works out in case I got to cut some more potatoes up. We're going to put it in the microwave. Ziploc bag. No liquid or nothing? No liquid. No liquid, no no liquid just the potatoes? Just the potatoes. We're going to see what it do. No seasoning or no. Not now. We're going to see what it does. And I'm very curious because I was like, dang, that's sweet. So if they don't taste good, you cut the next ones? Yeah, I'm going to have to cut the next ones because if they don't, they don't turn out right, I guess I got to um, cut some more potatoes. Make up for it. Yeah, Make up for it. And these are red potatoes we're using. Hi. Let me see. Red potatoes. And, um. Uh, we're gonna try that out and um and it was about 10 potatoes he um cut up all together and we broke it down i'm doing it for three minutes i'm not doing it the whole 15 minutes and then i'll check it and i'm gonna do it for 15 to three more minutes until i get to 15 minutes okay y'all we had this meal multiple times multiple times we had it but we never did it like this we never did this twist so Y'all bear with us, and we're going to be right back to let y'all know the next phase, y'all. I'm almost done chopping these up right here. And once I'm done, we just waiting on the potatoes, and we're going to get the pan out to fill the meat up, and here we go. Hey, y'all. We are back. Now, I tried the little experiment with the microwave and the uh, potatoes for 15 minutes and the plastic Ziploc bag. We gonna turn out and see how that came out. And it looked like there are, it looked like it's gonna work. I'm gonna take this bag over there and um, I'm gonna put it in a strainer first since it's some, um, you know, potatoes hold water. I'm gonna put it in here and let it drain whatever it needs to drain off. But they are soft. So I guess it did work for 15 minutes. I'm happy of that. And then I'm gonna put some butter, some salt, and pepper. You wouldn't wanna. You know, it's mushy. Yeah. It worked. Yeah, it worked. We're gonna put some real butter, not margarine. We're gonna put some real butter in here. We're gonna season it with salt and pepper. And um, since this is going in the um, 
the center, we're not gonna put that, we're not gonna make it real. We're gonna try to make it kind of, we don't want it liquidly. Since we're putting the corn in there, and I think we might put some cheese in there. It wouldn't hurt to put some cheese in there. You up, but you like cheese, Ziggy? Yeah. My baby said he'll like cheese. And um, we're gonna see how this gonna turn out. Cut some butter into it since it's nice and hot. Ooh, I'm using about a half a stick of butter. Let me get some um, some pepper and some salt. I got sea salt. I'm going to put some pepper in here, some fresh ground pepper. And this is our first time doing this meal. We didn't have meat, meatloaf before. We just never had it this way we about to do it. Since we got um, a request for it. You know... And we're trying to spice it up a little different. As you can see, it's good. It's good. It's good mushy. Like Rob Dog said. And um, give me a fork or something. Let me see how seasoned this is. Now that's nice. I'm going to lie to it. It tastes like it ain't been in the microwave. That's a good thing. Think this shit here, nigga. This shit here, nigga. This shit called death, nigga. We are back. Okay, I'm going to put a little sour cream. This is nothing but the mashed potatoes, salt, pepper, mashed potatoes, and I ain't putting no milk in there. I'm going to put um, a little sour cream, about a tablespoon or two tablespoons. Two tea, uh, yeah, two tablespoons, about two tablespoons, whatever tea you're liking. I'm gonna mix that in there because I don't want it real liquefied because we're stuffing this in the middle. And as um, we mixing the corn inside the um, potatoes, right, Rob? Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, so I'm gonna put it. I'm not, um, we're cutting the potatoes or since this got to cook anyways, we pouring, we just pouring some corn in here. Fresh sweet corn, super fresh sweet corn. We're going to mix this in here like that. Yeah. Put some more corn in here. And use all the corn. And you said you wanted a little sugar in here. I mean a little, um cheese in there, right, Vicky? Yeah. Oh, it wouldn't hurt to have cheese in the middle. As soon as I open it up. And I'm gonna put about a cup of cheese in there. If I can ever get it open, here we go. That's about a cup of cheese. Mix that in there good. And I'm gonna test and make sure it's seasoned really good. It can stand a little more so you season it to your liking. What I like, you might not like. I'm gonna put the rest of this cheese in so it ain't that much. Mix that all together. And that's as good as gold. Now, for the meatloaf part of it, Rob Dog got the, the ground round and the Italian sausage mixed in together. Working. Got all my veggies up in here, my green peppers. Uh, what is it? Chopped up garlic. Uh, one small onion. It wasn't too big. And also 
the celery. So I'm just mixing everything up together. And I use the whole stick of uh, pork sausage. So I'm saving a little ground round to the side just in case I don't want to, you know, overly do it. If I need more, it's always good to add. Um, we gotta put some breadcrumbs in there. And these are Italian um, style breadcrumbs. Let me mix that. We're gonna put about a cup in. Just let him mix that up and see what it do. We've been using them breadcrumbs lately for our recipes. So it's good to always keep a, a double helping of. If you a cook, it's always good to keep a double helping of everything in your cabins. Uh, in your, in, in, and um, always double up, especially around the holidays, because they hike the prices up on you. Yeah, if you don't catch no sale, you're going to be mad as I don't know what. Mm-hmm. Go ahead, crack the eggs up up in there. How many eggs you going to use? We're going to use two eggs. Two eggs. Two eggs. All right. So we're gonna put a little seasoning in here. Is he mixing it up in? He is mixing it up good too. We're putting about um a teaspoon of um steak pepper in there, steak seasoning. We're gonna put a um granulated garlic in there. That's about a teaspoon of that. A teaspoon of onion powder. That might be. Okay, it's starting to get real doughy, y'all. It's starting to get doughy. Mm. And a little seasoning salt. That should be good on your seasoning. You got to get it to the point where it molds in shape into the form that you're trying to get it to. I know it's a lot of people out there can cook. Culinary art school. Do what you do. This like for people who really need to. You might come from another country and want to cook an American meal. You might be young. And, uh, you know, you use YouTube as a tool to teach you certain things. You know, I don't mind helping you guys out. But for the ones who do know, y'all already know the ingredients that you use. You get, People get stuck in their way. So you learn from your mothers or whoever you learn it from. And there's a lot of fathers out there know how to cook better than the mothers. But here in this house, we're a team. We, we do it together and we keep it together. We keep it going. But uh, here we go. Okay. What's the next we, We're going to slap some at the bottom. We're going to flatten this up because this is going to... Um, I got a little butter at the side um, and the bottom of it. It ain't going to do no harm. It's onions and butter on the bottom of this pan. Real butter. Just didn't make no sense to put it back in the refrigerator. If you broke and ain't got butter, then margarine will do too. Margarine would do. Okay, there it go. I just basically put it at the bottom. Make it uh, strong enough to carry that uh, food we're going to put it in. This is a stuffed meatloaf. Yes, it is. I'm making sure I get it all around the edges real thick. Okay. okay. And he stuffed it pretty good. Right. Like I said, this is a stuffed meatloaf. Um, it got onions and a little butter on the little leftover butter in the bottom. So it don't, you know, stick. You know, it got Italian sausage, so it's not gonna be greasy. 
It's not going to stick because it's got the Italian sausages in there. We putting some of this in the middle. This is your um, corn, frozen corn. You know, fresh and frozen is the best. Fresh is the best and then frozen is next. And um, I'm just going to put this in like a hump so he can go over it with it and round it off. And if you guys try this, make sure you use a pan like we use in an oval pan to help you keep the shape. You can get the shape without the oval pan. Yeah, you can get the shape without it though, but if you're doing the stuff one, you don't know if the... Is it going to leak or something? All right, so... So he going to go over it and... Uh, this a um a, a one-pot meal. As they call it, because you got your vegetables, your um, starch, and your protein. Hungry man's meal. Y'all remember them TV dinners, the hungry man? We're putting the hungry man's meal together, y'all. This is fun. Oh no, more meat, more meat. And you make the shape of it. You know, get it in that oval shape. So you think we need it all? Use, use it, it all. all. Yeah. Use it all. Yeah. Oh, Zeke put his two cent in there. Shaping it for y'all. Teamwork makes the dream work. You know, that's how we do it over here. And that looks good. So I hope got the oven set too for this. The oven is set to three it's 375. 375 for this meal? Yes, sir. All right. Can you finish before that can of um, tomato paste on the top of it? On the top of it? Yes, sir. All right, so um, I'll use a spoon to spread it. I'll put it in proportions and then I'll start spreading it out just to get it out the can. I haven't had a comment to let me know somebody tried a dish of mine yet. We, we, some YouTubers, we always looking at people cooking and stuff on YouTube. There's a lot of people out there that's just brilliant with this cooking. And we don't claim to be the best, we just a little different. We just put a little twist to everything we do. We don't claim to be the best, but it, it sure tastes good. We ain't fat for nothing. Okay, I'm just putting this all around the border and about to stick this baby in the oven. Just using the back of a spoon, but you use whatever available to you. You see it's not sticking that much, but... I'm just basically putting it over the whole top of it. This is a big, thick meatloaf. Okay, so a little bit at the top. So, y'all already know what I'm doing. Zeke, Zeke, you can go on and stop that. And uh, y'all already know we're about to put this in the oven. And I'm just about to uh, spread it a little bit more. And we'll be back with you guys uh, as soon as it's finished. And how long do you expect, Mo, um, for it to be in there? We're going to check on it in 30 minutes to 45 minutes. Okay. There you have it, guys. So 
We'll be back and let you guys know where we at. We back, y'all. Done deal. It's a done deal. Mmm. About 45 minutes exactly, it was sitting up in there. And you know how we do it. We're about to give it a taste test. I, you, I got the knife right here. And I already looked in the inside to see what was going on with it. Make sure it's cooked thoroughly. Now I'm about to uh, just get a sample plate. Little sample plate right here. And as you can see, the meat up in there is thoroughly cooked all the way through. Let me get this knife out the way. Put a little bit more meat on the plate. That's why I like using this container because like I said, it holds everything in place and we still get meat at the bottom. So you want to give it a try, Z? It's cooked all the way through, y'all, so it's basically the same thing you do at the house, the way everybody make regular meatloaf and everything separate. It's a little hot, man. Huh? Mm -hmm. Hot, 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 hot. Okay, yeah, I tried a little piece before we even cut the camera on, and I guess that's it, y'all. Another dish done. Rob Dog 313. About to get ready to enjoy this lovely food, and leave me a like, comment, share the video if you like it. If not, and I still like to hear from you. All right, bro. You see how I did it, man. We did a stuffed meat loaf, man, with mashed potatoes and corn. So we're about to get ready to enjoy your favorite dish. I like it too. It ain't my favorite though, but I did this just for you, man. All right, y'all already know how I get up out of here. Rob Dog 313. Peace and love, y'all.